being the middle child, you're probably not going to listen to this anyways. But I would love to sit here and tell you all the embarrassing stories about Logan like she did to me. But I have a feeling those will come out at some point tonight. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet and hopefully give some advice from one coach's wife to another. Just like Ryan teaches his athletes to be teammates, marriage is all about being a team. Coaches always have their players' backs no matter what. Marriage is about being on each other's side through thick and thin. In sports, you put 110% and fight to the finish. In marriage, you do the same. An athlete is pushed to their limits and tested daily. Marriage is not a walk in the park. It has its seasonal struggles and comes with compromise. No one understands the coach-wife life unless you are in it yourself. Other than being a mom, it's the most rewarding job I have and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I know you won't either. So from one coach-wife to another, spend time together when you can and always follow and support one another. I pray for a long and happy life together. Ryan, take care of my little sister and welcome to the family. Cheers. Good evening, everybody. Hope everyone's uh, doing all right here tonight. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that, you know, uh, uh, set this wedding up. This wedding is, is uh, beautiful, and I know how hard it is to uh, uh, work on this wedding, and y'all did a spectacular job. And uh, first of all, or, uh, most importantly, I want to thank everybody that uh, made this trip to, uh, to this wedding. There's a lot of white lines that was uh, uh, on the highway that to uh, be here with uh, Ryan and Logan. And I know for a fact that I wouldn't want to be anywhere else where I'm uh, at right now. Um, so, uh, in case I don't know me, I'm Chance, and I'm uh, Ron's best man, and I'm, I'm truly honored to be Ron's best man. However, it's not Ron's best idea to have a person speaking at his wedding that has a speech impediment. <laughs> so here we are, and if you have no idea what I'm saying, ask your neighbor, and if your neighbor has no idea, just nod and smile, and we'll get, uh, uh, like, we'll get through all this, okay? Thank you very much. So, first of all, I want to start, uh, you know, start off with Logan. Logan, you look incredible here tonight. And, um, you know, I've never seen Ryan so happy in his life. And that's saying a lot because I was with Ryan for a lot of years, okay? So, uh, and as you know, um, I... Uh, uh, as you know, as you know, I can uh, I consider myself as Ryan's family member, and I can speak for all of them here tonight. And I just want to say how uh, proud to officially welcome you to the f to the family, uh, despite that you're a Texas fan. So hopefully Ryan's helping that out uh, next week, because uh, I don't know that's, uh, I don't know if that's going to work out or not. So yeah, burn that orange, please. So, anyways, me and Ryan, we go way back. We go way back to uh, elementary days. Uh, played a lot of sports, mainly baseball. Um, and then he left me uh, and went, uh, went to San Saba. And then uh, we got in uh, you know, touch over the years and stuff, uh, mainly after our, uh, you know, at the end of the year, uh, at the end of the year of, of our high school year, or, yeah, high school year, and uh, basically said, uh, you know, where are you headed to school at? You know, well, uh, well, I'm headed here to play college baseball at, you know, this one school in, uh, in uh, Plainview, you know. Well, it turns out Ryan was headed to that same school and uh, to play football at uh, Wayland Baptist. And, uh, you know, we hooked up right after that. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the rest is history, basically. We were roommates for, the, uh, for those four years, basically. Uh, uh, at Wayland and uh, at uh, Texas uh, Tech University, 
And uh, I would say those uh, four years were the best years of my life, but my wife is in the audience right now, so I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I must, I'm not going to say that, okay, sorry. Uh, but but uh, anyways, uh, Ryan has been a, com he's been a, you know, best friend for, you know, he's, he's uh, been there for, you know, for me and for everyone and anyone. And I've witnessed it, you know, for all those years that I was with him. And uh, he's going to be there for anyone and everyone. And, uh, you know, f uh, my, uh, uh, one of my wishes upon life is to have, yes. to have uh, one of my, or to have all my ki uh, kids run to the same school as Ryan when he's the athletic director at a 5A, 6A school. Because, because, number one, if my kids have my, have my wife's athletic skills, we're going to need them because, because they're not the best, okay? And I want them to play, and then Ryan's going to be there for that, okay? But number, uh, but, but like most importantly, I want them to be a role model. I mean, I want Ron to be a role model to those, uh, to my, to my kids, and you know, every st uh, every student that he's had or had is is uh, lucky, you know, you know, and not every student. I mean, like all the students, but all the uh, all the coworkers and uh, <laughs> uh, family members and. You know, all the friends that he's had is uh, lucky to have Ryan. And, uh, you know, uh, but, uh, but anyways, Ryan, uh, one of my, ad you know, advices for you, Ryan, in, uh, for uh, marriage is, uh, is uh, Ryan, there's no better love than to love uh, uh, God uh, when, he, when he, or uh, Jesus, when he died on the cross for us. And Ryan, that is, uh, like, Ryan, uh, that is uh, the, the, uh, like the way that you're, like, the way to, like, to love Logan. And now, uh, Ryan, if you do that, it will bring more joy and fulfillment in your life than any other relationship. And, uh, you know, Ryan has, has been a completely irreplaceable best friend, and I will love him until I take my last breath. Ryan Logan, y'all are the most selfish couple that I know, and y'all deserve everything in this whole world. So, uh, with that being said, guys, whatever you have in your hand, raise a toast to a uh, happily ever after. Ryan, uh, uh, Ryan Logan, y'all uh, like that. Uh, this is the best night of y'all's life, and I hope y'all enjoy it. And uh, God bless, and uh, thank y'all very much. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, my turn. So my name is Lauren. I'm the oldest sister. Um, being the oldest, I've almost felt or feel responsible and protective of my younger, younger sisters. So for Morgan, I always felt responsible to pray hard for her Prince Charming, to sweep her off her feet. But for Logan, it's a little different. I didn't always have to be so protective of her because if you know Logan, she can clearly take care of herself. So I just prayed for, for her husband. Like literally, once she found him, I prayed for him. So she's strong-willed, hard-headed, super competitive. I'm praying for you, brother. Um, when y'all get into arguments, I'm praying for you, brother. When y'all compete in sports and dancing, board games, I'm praying for you, brother. But really, I've prayed for someone like you to come into her life, and now I'm praying for you through all of the life lessons that God will throw at y'all. You're a good one, Rye. Proud to call you my brother-in-law. And you got yourself a pretty smoking hot wife. Although, when Logan was younger, she had a pretty unattractive habit. She did it all the time, everywhere, even in public. So it started with a wedgie pick and um, then a cough. <clears throat> and then her two fingers that ran down the side of her mouth like this, very slowly. 
<clears throat> so we would always tease her about how nasty that was because she touched her butt first and then her mouth. So you may want to think about that the next time you kiss her, right? Because there may be some lingering bacteria up and all that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Logan, you look absolutely stunning tonight. I can't believe this day is here. Little Lodi Bug is all grown up. I love you so much. It has been an honor standing next to you. I'll never not be protective of my little sisters. And Ryan, thanks for being you. I know you always talk about your cut up body. Well, I don't know about all that, but you're looking mighty handsome tonight. You'll always be skinny boy to me. <laughs> you're absolutely perfect for my sister. So raise your glasses, cheers to the newlyweds, best wishes and hook em horns. <laughs> Okay, time out. I might be getting a little bit old for this, and it's kind of not fair because I've had to do this twice, and they've only had to do it one time, but we've prepared a little musical snack for y'all. <clears throat> Let me get ready. So for the first time live, and the last time live, we are the Fresh Sisters! Stand by. It was supposed to be a lot smoother than this. It would be right if it was up to you. Ready? Is he going to do an ad for it? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, can you do it? Yeah. It was the wrong version. What happened? Oh. Oh, okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Got it? And we'd like to take a minute, just sit right there and tell you how the newlyweds became the perfect pair. organs and relaxing all cool. She's been waiting for that ring and a proposal. When they first met at a backyard barbecue, the families all mingled. Could this be something new? Jeff called the vote when that day was at an end. Hey, is Logan single? I'm asking for a friend. He slid into her DMs later that night. Because of the distance, the timing wasn't right. A year later at a concert with a drink in their cup, they finally decided it was time to hook up. Living eight hours apart, they knew it would be hard. They booked a lot of flights and swiped their bank cards. Logan stayed a lot at his bachelor pad, but the sight of a plunger, he didn't have. She overflowed the toilet when he wasn't there. She went next door for a pleasure to spare. A few months later is when he found out he then knew he loved her without out a doubt. Offers. Ryan passed the test, but we quickly found out he's not the best. The Pinnell family is nothing but good, but Ryan's dance moves came straight from the hood. Logan loves his dad's jokes, that's what matters most, but they're not that funny, to that we can toast. Just kidding, Ryan, we love you like a bro. This is all just for so fun, we had to put on a show. Ryan not only stole Logan's heart, he stole ours too from the very start. 
star. We know you'll treat her with tender love and care, so let's raise our glasses, because love is in the air! air.